Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an email account on your Bluehost domain name. So this is the domain name or the website we have created wptutorials101.com. So let's say I want to create an email address with this domain name, something like support at the rate wptutorials101.com or admin at the rate wptutorials101.com. So this kind of email address we can create if you buy a shared hosting plans like Bluehost, Hostinger. So with their hosting, they are giving this uh, feature so that you can create an email address like that. So what we can do? First of all, we have to log into our Bluehost uh, hosting area. You can see that I have logged into my Bluehost uh, hosting area and this is the website for which I want to create an email address. Now in the left side, simply go to this advanced option, click on it. So it will open the Bluehost cPanel area. So you can see that cPanel. So this is a typical cPanel area. Okay. Now in the first option itself, it is email account. Simply cl click on email accounts. So there are a couple of email accounts I've already created uh, for like different different websites. So now uh, today uh, what I will do, I will create a new email address for our domain wptutorials101.com. Okay. So for that, what you have to do, you just have to find out this create uh, button, click on create. Then you have to select your domain name. Now you have to provide a username. So let's say I'm going to provide admin. So as per your business requirement, whatever email ID you want to create, you can create. If you want to create a dedicated uh, email ID for admin, so you can create admin for support. If you want to create a dedicated email address, so you can say like support at the rate w So this kind of also you can do that. Now enter a password. So let me provide a password or you can provide a like you can generate a password also it will create a random password so it is better to provide your own password okay so right now just for the sake of this tutorials i'm just providing a dummy password or generate password you can see that then there are a couple of other settings you can click on it so the storage space so by default it is 500 you can go for unlimited also so i'll just keep it 500 only so automatically create folder so nothing to do actually here simply keep the settings as it is finally you can create on this and click the create button. So you can see that you have created admin at wptutorials.com. So this email ID has been created. Let me click on view. Okay. So this email ID has been created. Okay. So now one option will automatically come here is that check email. Okay. Simply click on check email. Now you can see that automatically it will take you to this web mail area. Okay. Now here uh, you can choose which one. So round cube or day, this kind of option will come. So let's say I'm using round cube only. Now this is the web mail area you will get after login to your email account. So this is the uh, automatic welcome mail will come. You can see that. So this is the mail. All the details are here. So this way you can create an email address. So let me create a dummy mail. Okay. So I provided all the details. So let me send the mail. So from this mail itself, I'm sending another mail to this mail. So you can see that I received that particular mail. Okay. So this is a test mail. So just for the testing, I showed you. So your email account has been created. Now the next question is uh, whether you have to come to this area every time to check the mail. Not exactly. Now this page will open for the initial login. Okay. So this is the page where you provide your hosting login and uh, like a password and login to your hosting account. At the same time, if you noticed it, there is another option called webmail. So click on this webmail login. Now here you have to provide the user ID and password. So user ID is nothing but the email address. For example, for us, this is the email address and the password is the password that we have generated randomly. So if you provide both email ID and password and click on login, it will take you to this particular web mail area. Okay. So just remember this uh, two settings. One option is for hosting login. Another is for web mail login. So that's how you can create an email address with your domain name of, and it looks like very much professional. You should create that uh, with the help of Bluehost cPanel. Okay. So that's all in this video. If you find this video useful, feel free to like and share this video. If you are new to my YouTube channel, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching this video.